Hello. Uh, I'd firstly like to apologise for the man shirt that I'm wearing and the morning face that I'm sporting. I've just, I haven't just woken up, but I've just got out of bed and I'm very embarrassed to say it's actually four o'clock. So please don't blame me. We, uh, we had a few drinks last night for my housemate's 21st birthday. We had, we, we had a party dinner, party food, and that led on to some poker and then drinking games. So I apologise, I've had a massive hangover today, which is really bad because it's actually my other friend's 21st today, or 22nd today, tonight, and we're meant to be going out to this big event, so I'm sort of manning up. I'm pulling myself together, I've been downing loads of water, and taken the required paracetamol every couple four hours so I'm feeling a bit better now and I'm hoping some fresh air and lots of cups of tea will get me through this afternoon until tonight and then I can finally yes I am a dirty slob I can finally have a shower and <laughs> I'll feel fresher for tonight so yeah it was really good last night before we went out as well this was one, one of the best bits we, uh, we took a trip to Iceland and this is what we bought so the feast was incredible. We had we had Chinese platter, we had chicken, we had wedges, pizza, uh, spring rolls, dips, crisps. I'm a bit food crazy, so I'm sorry if I go on about it quite a lot, and I'll probably mention it again in more videos. But really, it was amazing. You can't go wrong with Iceland, they're so cheap. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, shock. It's just a UK supermarket chain of frozen food, very unhealthy, uh, full of salt but pound for a pizza. Not gonna argue. So I've actually got changed because I felt a bit grubby sat there in my pyjamas chatting and in that time it's got a bit darker so I'm afraid the light's going so I'm gonna hurry, hurry, hurry. The purpose of the actual video was meant to be for the 30 day challenge, not me rambling on about dinner from last night. So I'm gonna carry on quickly and talk about my favorite book. I'm gonna mention two because I've got a book collection here at uni but it's not my complete collection so I thought I'd mention my all-time favourite and a recent read that I've read here at uni. So this is my book collection here at uni and sorry for the bad filming this was with my camera. So I have a few books over here um, if we come over to my very messy desk I've got a couple of uni books, uh, some fiction on here bits and pieces, and then a whole heap here. So that's my uni book collection, and so I'm going to talk about a book from here, where I am now. My favourite of all time is actually uh, a novel called Memoirs of a Geisha. You've probably all heard of it. It's quite a famous novel by Arthur Golden. And I read that once when I was on holiday a few years ago, and I've loved it ever since. But because that's not here, that's at home, I'm just going to talk about some recent reads that I've enjoyed. Shall I wear my geek glasses for intellectuality? That answer is of course no. Best not to embarrass myself too much. So a recent book I've read is Alice Walker's The Colour Purple. And it won the Pulitzer Prize. It's quite a classic, hence why we're studying it, or were. And I love this book for several reasons. I think the protagonist, Celie, is really touching. The book is set in the deep South America between the two world wars, and it features the role of women quite predominantly. It's quite focused on patriarchy and how men are dominating women and how women are, were made submissive, and especially the black community as well, because uh, Celie is a black woman in this time period. And it's about her development, really, as a character. She learns to love herself, she learns to stand up for herself. There's really strong female characters throughout it. And nearly every one of them undergoes a transition, and that's quite interesting to follow throughout the book as well. And it also highlights some important questions about religion, I think, that are worth thinking about and stay with you long after the book. I'm going to actually pop my favourite quote in the description box below. I was going to read it, but I'm too embarrassed, so I'll just pop it below. And it's a quote that really touched me because it just sort of makes you think about your own views at the same time. 
So that was my favourite book. It's growing increasingly dark and I'm really sorry about all the lighting changes in this video. It's taken me all afternoon to make. I'm not very with it. I apologise again for that. So my favourite book at the moment is, as I said, The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. And my all-time favourite was Memoirs of a Geisha. And I'm sure I'll make some more videos on books because I've got a lot of favourites uh, in addition to these. Some of my favourites that I've had from childhood, I really like the His Dark Materials collection by Philip Pullman. I'd never get bored of them. Uh, I read some crime. I read some chiclet as well, not ashamed to say, uh, like Marion Keys, an Irish writer, she's really good. And uh, I quite like from the early 20th century when we studied that sort of period in literature, I quite like writing from around then like Virginia Woolf and Catherine Mansfield. Oh, my favourite short story collection, I'll just add quickly, is called No One Belongs Here More Than You, and that's by Miranda Julie. And I'd really, really, really recommend that book because they're just short stories and they really make you think about things. She's a great writer. Her writing is really succinct and uh, to the matter, to the point, sort of straightforward. But they're really interesting and varied stories, so give that a go and I might talk about that later in another video. So that was day four of the 30 day challenge. I'll speak to you soon.